when you do what I do, and I know many of you do, there's always something on your mind. Storage. A weekend away with a camera like I have back there can leave you with hundreds, maybe thousands of raw images. And for video junkies, gigs and gigs of sweet 8-bit, 10-bit, or even 12-bit video. None of these files are small, but they contain the detail and the dynamic range that we've come to expect from modern day mirrorless and DSLR cameras. Don't get me wrong, when it comes to storage on my laptop, I like to go big, but when a project comes along, and for many of us, that's weekly, you want to use all of those files, but not have to copy them onto your computer and then back out of your computer. For years, that's exactly what I did, but more recently, I've been using SSDs via USB-C connection with my MacBook. It's made a big difference in my workflow. Many of you have asked me about how I work with and store the large files from modern digital cameras, so today I will explain how and what I use, and I even have a giveaway for one of you. First, this video is sponsored by Western Digital as a part of an influencer activation for TechFluence. It's still funny to call myself an influencer. <laughs> this is the first time I'm working with them, but I've used Western Digital hard drives for well over a decade. So as always, although this video is sponsored by Western Digital, all of the opinions that I express are my own. So they sent me their new My Passport SSD. This is the one terabyte. And instead of me receiving additional payment for this sponsorship, I requested a giveaway for my viewers. Hint, hint. More on that at the end of the video. The new My Passport SSD is blazing fast and offers outstanding performance to keep your productivity flowing. Keeping up with design trends, the new My Passport SSD has a sleek metal cover. The palm-sized drive is drop resistant up to six and a half feet, which is great for when you're on the go. Password enabled hardware encryption helps protect valuable content simply, and it features a five-year limited warranty. The drive is available in gray, like I have here, but also gold, red, and blue in 500 gig, one terabyte, and two terabyte capacities. Okay, so those are good talking points, but what is an SSD really? And what makes it different? Why do I use them? For many, many years for cold storage, I've used Western Digital MyBook hard drives to keep my terabytes of image and video files segregated but still accessible. That means if I want to work with any of those files, I copy them over to my computer, or in recent years, I copy them to an external SSD like this one. The difference with SSDs, as opposed to simply plugging in my laptop into one of my MyBook hard drives, is that especially with USB-C, you can unapologetically use your raw images and video files simply by connecting the SSD, leaving them where they are, and working with the files on the SSD, and there's little to no performance drop. In fact, this drive passes the toughest test I know of when I am editing videos like this one using Final Cut Pro X. The library file alone is hundreds of gigabytes with Final Cut Pro reading and writing to the library constantly. I can run an entire project, library and source files directly off of the SSD. And if I'm working on a few different projects at once, as many of you and I usually are, you can adopt the one project per drive approach. Or my Lightroom and image files on one drive and my Final Cut Pro and video files on another drive or whatever combination makes sense for you. So one thing I've learned about SSDs and a way to save a little bit of money is to buy smaller capacity drives like this one terabyte drive, but get a few. By the way, I do realize how crazy it is that I just said that a one terabyte drive is smaller capacity. <laughs> These are wild times. I mean, can you even believe that this tiny thing holds a terabyte? I don't know, maybe I'm showing my age, but anyway, they're plenty fast to keep everything on them that you're working with and then swap with another one when you're ready to focus on that other project. It's a fast and tidy solution and I've been working with these SSDs for the past couple of years and it's my favorite. Also, some of the latest mirrorless video monsters like the Sigma FP camera that I recently reviewed let you record video directly to a USB-C SSD drive. So from the moment you shoot your footage, it's already on the drive that you might then use to create the library with your editing software, load still images and B-roll footage onto that same drive and just keep it all in one place. That said, 
Don't forget about backups, which can be a second SSD or a more traditional hard drive with moving parts, but that's up to you. My only advice is to always keep two copies and certainly cloud backups can be a lifesaver too. So back to that giveaway. Western Digital is going to send a one terabyte My Passport SSD, just like this one, to one of you. I added a link to the giveaway in the description of this video. The link will take you to a page that explains exactly how to enter the giveaway. I'm super excited about this partnership because anytime that I can work with a great company to get something into one of your hands, that's a big deal to me. So whether it is still images, that latest video project, or if you just need fast, highly swappable storage to move files around, SSDs are the quickest and most robust out there right now. This Western Digital SSD included. This one has quickly disappeared into my workflow. And by that, I mean, it did its job. There were no headaches, no weirdness. I really didn't expect anything less. Like I said, I've used Western Digital hard drives for a long time. So check that link in the description below for the giveaway. And if you just can't wait to get your hands on one, or if you wanna take a look at the size and pricing options, I have placed some links below for you for that as well. And use those comments below to ask questions or to share your experience using any of these tiny, speedy SSD drives as a part of your workflow. And thank you for watching.